Nick here. We're very close to Valentine's Day now. We're two uh, weeks out, and if you're anything like us, we get sort of nervous energy around this time of year. The pre-orders have closed now, so they've been quite strong, which is excellent. And obviously, Valentine's Day this year being on a Friday should be really, really strong for everybody in the game. So let's hope we have a crack. I just want to talk about the quality, head size, and what to do with the roses when you get them in store, because it's really important to get the best out of your flowers for the big day. We are dry storing the Colombian uh, roses and also the African roses here at the auction. We've done a lot of testing between dry store, wet store with solution, etc. They will be dry stored in our building for 24 hours at temperature before they go out on orders into your store. Now when you get them, you obviously need to rehydrate them, put them in a wetting agent solution if you can get it. chrysal has got all those products available through the Sunbury suppliers. And then you need to leave them with cardboard on for 24 hours to drink and draw. After that time, remove the cardboard off the top and then you'll actually have a, a very nicely hydrated flower that you can work with. The big takeaway message there is 24 hours hydration, one day. So if you wanna get them in in the morning and pump them out that afternoon, you're not gonna get the best results. So please factor that into your supply. Now if you're going, oh, dry store, I'm not really sure, that's fine because that's what we did as well before we did all the testing here back at base and they did the same thing in Sydney. If you look at these two vases, which one do you think is dry stored and which one do you think is wet stored? It's the old Pepsi Coke challenge. They look pretty similar, don't they? This is the wet stored one, this is the dry stored one. The dry stored one is actually tighter, the heads are harder and firmer. Obviously the one that's been in solution has already had a chance to start working and open up a little bit and be um, hydrated. So we're really pleased with the trials that we've done. We've done a lot of trials over the last four weeks to perfect the time frame. The importer has been part of that process, as has the farms and the export agents over in South America. So a lot of work has gone into what we're about to do. Uh, if you please remember the key message, 24 hours of hydration, and then use your flowers in work. Now remember, for Colombians, it's important that you keep the cardboard from the top of the head, and when you have uh, all the Colombians de cardboard if you're keeping them in buckets. Just keep one cardboard under each bucket from each farm that you've got because if there is a problem, then we will have the codes and the numbers that we're going to ask you for so that we can actually have a chance of processing uh, a credit claim should there be any. But we obviously hope that there isn't any need for that. So that's a quick tip on the hydration. 24 hours and they're good to go. Around this time of year, Valentine's Day, the conversation normally turns to size of head and should I buy premium, should I buy standard, should I buy Colombian? Well, to give you an idea visually on what the differences are, here's your Colombian. They're pretty much the same head size, five and a half, six centimetres all year round. We then have the premium Kenyan. So if you compare that, and I'll go this side because that's the same uh, dry pack. That's the difference in head size. That's our premium Kenyan. If you then go a standard Kenyan, it's that head size there. So I hope the camera is picking that up adequately. That'll show you the, the spray of sizes. So a good premium Kenyan is going to challenge a Colombian in head size, but the Colombian is still going to be the biggest that you can get. But if you want a good option and not go to premium, uh, sorry, not go to Colombian, you can take the premium Kenyan and work with that all day long. And then you've got your standard Kenyan, which is a standard normal head size, which really is on par with the local rose here in Australia. So they're your three size choices. Um, and it just gets down to the price point that you're aiming for and what size you want to give your customer. A lot of people have asked me this year about what are we doing with coloured roses. They're going to be on the auction clock. You can see them behind me here. We're going to have a full range of coloured uh, Kenyans and Colombians and locals on the auction clock for you to come and buy, starting obviously the Sunday night, which is when everyone clicks into Valentine's mode. So it's all available for you to buy on the clock on the main days. Mm -hmm.